I'm Jay Goodrich, the beauty photographer, and if you were just meeting me, hi, hello, I'm excited. You wanna know why? We were talking about pride. Pride. I'm a mixed race gay lesbian. And so I get super excited about pride because it's this time where you see rainbow flags everywhere and the whole community is galvanized around this idea of justice, empowerment, and celebrating our identities. What's super special about this Pride is that Adidas asked me to direct and photograph a special campaign just for Pride. I'm gonna dig into it, tell you all about the experience, and show you some sexy behind the scenes. And then stay tuned for the very end because I'm going to debut the final 60 second mini documentary we made with these amazing LGBTQAI plus influencers. <laughs> I'm on my way walking right now to set and I'm super excited because the energy is really good um, and today is the day that everything comes together. We started yesterday getting things set up, testing the light, um, getting a sense for just how things will flow. Um, could you go a little higher, sir? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So there's a lot of busy body action and that's because we're trying to figure out how to really shape the light so that it's beautiful but then also has that beautiful storytelling quality. So we have this big piece of diffusion here that softens the light and then we have one light bouncing back. And then this is the set. Oh hey, hey. <laughs> We had an amazing set designer who had this back wall and dressed it with all of these amazing images that were of spaces of resonance. So you'd see a bathroom or the stone wall or a recording booth. These were psychological and physical spaces that the amazing talent that we had could really resonate with. And the fact that they were monochrome black and white was really beautiful because then the color of their outfits just really stuck out against it. So now that everything's Map down. I'm excited to uh, actually make the damn thing. Perfect. <laughs> And it's crazy to think about just how many moving pieces there were to make this shoot happen. So I think this is the second year that Adidas has really created a special campaign around Pride. And they have a certain line of clothing that a proceeds go to the Trevor Project, which is really amazing. So this year, a production company and creative agency approached me to direct and photograph this campaign. Now, the thing that is so amazing about it is that in the last few years, these companies and organizations and brands have really gotten behind the LGBTQ movement. And they have been doing these campaigns that create visibility and really show beautiful trans, gay, queer, pansexual, non-binary, individuals, which is great. However, there's a big problem in the film and photography industry, and that is a lot of these campaigns, if you take away who's actually shown, in terms of who makes the decisions, who creates them, who's behind the lens, it's usually white cis straight men. Now, I don't have a problem with them. They are amazing. But there's a problem when these are the people who are really only ones making decisions behind these campaigns. So one of the amazing things about this year is they hired me and I am a gay mixed race woman, which on three axes is really rare. Female directors, way more rare than they should be. Mixed race or brown or black people in that power position, still a lot more rare than they should be. And then me being gay, a lot more rare than it should be. So you add those three together and it's just a really powerful moment of representation. The director really sets the tone on set and it's the creative decisions that really determine how the campaign comes to be, how it looks, how it feels, how is that story told? It's really meaningful that they brought somebody on who was a part of that community. One of my good friends, Jay Ray, who started a company called Trains Affirming Spaces, said something that's so amazing to me. He said, nothing about us without us. And that idea is so important and so potent when it comes to thinking about representation in campaigns like these. 
If you are creating work that's speaking to the LGBTQ community, if you're creating work that's speaking to brown, black, marginalized people in any way, you should be having people in those powerful positions who are of that community, right? It kind of is like, duh, but you'd be surprised how much it does not happen. So that's why I'm super excited about this project and I'm super excited to share it with you. Just like yesterday. brought their story and their presence and how they identified to the project and it was really really amazing to see them shine in their respective ways. We have Venus X who is a super powerful boss babe from New York who has spent her entire career really building up community and creating safe, beautiful, fun, exciting spaces that surround and protect and celebrate brown queer people. She is just phenomenal. Then we had Ace Troy who is a brilliant artist. He's somebody I've known for 10 years and I just absolutely love and it was so amazing to have him as a part of a project. And then my absolute love, Flo Shade, who is an amazing light, so kind and wonderful. She's this powerhouse drag queen who's beautiful, poised, fun, who brought so much glamour to the shoot. Taylor Smith, who is a professional soccer player who is out and proud and really representing women in sport in such a fabulous way. And she is so kind and loving and beautiful and has a mega what smile. Then we have Brandon Harris, who is the father of the House of Flora. So when you watch the show Pose and you learn all about these voguing houses, Brandon is the father of a voguing house here in Portland and he is a kind, generous, wonderful soul that really helps bring movement and dance to support and touch people and bring them joy. Then we have the last Artful Dodger who has this powerful presence and is hilarious, who is an amazing, amazing singer. The other thing that was really amazing about this project is that I had the opportunity with each of them to really sit down and hear their story. Now, the reality of advertising is a lot of that doesn't make the final cut, and so you'll see at the end of this video, we have 60 second piece that is really beautiful and wonderful, but so much of their stories were just, we had to cut it down. So actually, let me know if you are interested in seeing a director's cut, because there is so much from this that I would love to show. Let me know with a rainbow emoji. And if enough of you say that you really want to see it, I'll make that happen. All right, so you ready? I feel like it's like, early 2000s making a video and you get to see the final work that we did. I'm so excited to show you and here we go. Three, two, one, and now the world premiere. The people that came before me allowed me to be who I am today. And I think all the work that people have put in up to now makes it so much easier for us now to celebrate. It empowers them to do what they love, whether that's sports or that's being creative. In sports, it didn't matter if I was black, if I was gay, and so like it was a cool place to express myself. You don't have to be taught to tolerate. You just have to be taught to respect. And respect starts with oneself. During Pride, when we all get together, there's 
so much power and being able to just be out there. It's a really special, beautiful thing. To be prideful is something that you have to like embrace all the time. People just want to be themselves. And if people could just let love lead the way, it would just be completely different. All right, now it's your turn. I wanna hear from you in a comment below why pride is meaningful to you. And if you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, subscribe and ding the bell so you get a notification of a new video. And happy pride, darling. And be sure to check everything out at adidas.com slash loveunites and see our project alive in the world. You can meet all of the creators, donate to the Trevor Project, and shop the Pride Collection.